Wingspan on Valley Sports is brought to you by Coors Light, mountain cold refreshment made to chill. No messages this time. Guys, first, thank you. Oh, I'm a little too quick. <laughs> I told you, it's like being a goalie. You want yeah. the first shot right away. Menon Rion was in the net last night when the Tampa Bay Lightning took on St. Louis. She's the first shot, the rebound. Giveaway. Intercepted. Here's Raymond right in. He scores. Bingo. Lucas Raymond to the back of the net. Sider shaken from his jack. The shot. He scores! Sider wins it for Detroit. Guys, first, thank you for doing this interview. I'm excited because I feel like we have things in common. You guys are rookie in the NHL. I'm rookie with Valley Sports. English is our second language. And I don't think we're going to have any problem understanding each other. You're German, Swedish, and French. So we should be good with uh, We'll roll with it. Um, you guys were a month into your first NHL season. How does it feel? Great. Um, every day is a new challenge, pretty much. Um, the guys are taking really good care of us. I think I can speak uh, for both of us. So it's been a, it's been a pleasure coming to the rink every day. And um, yeah, we're just trying to put the work in and uh, make this team a better hockey team. How about you? Yeah, I know it's the same. It's been really fun so far, and like Mo said, the the guys have been great and really felt. Me and I think Mo as well feel really welcomed, and it makes it easier on the ice as well. And uh, no, just trying to just trying to develop and uh, play good hockey. What's the biggest lesson you learned so far? Um, for me, probably uh, not taking the first elevator when we uh, get to uh, a hotel on the road that's usually reserved for uh, the older guys. Um, <laughs> That was one of the mistakes I did pretty early. I uh, learned from it, and now I'm just waiting until uh, everyone is done, and I'm uh, luckily stepping in the last elevator, yeah. Did that mistake first time also. Uh, but yeah, me and Mo waiting very patiently. But, you know, it's all good. Raymond, to Cider, Aronic, back door scores, Raymond! So you guys, we see you on a power play together, on three on three together. What do you like the most about each other's game? Um, I mean, Lucas obviously had that scoring touch since he uh, since he played in the SHL, and um, it's easy giving him the puck, and you know, like either you get it back or something good will happen, and um, that's what I like. He's anticipating plays really well, um, just uh, knows. When, when the right moment is to, to jump a guy or just uh, maybe stay back and, and play a little bit more important defensively. So um, I think uh, that's what makes him special and that's what's helping us uh, winning hockey games on a daily basis. How about you? <clears throat> no, I think Mo is very, he's a very complete defender. It's, uh, it's, it's easy to play with him because he, he reads the game very well. Uh, he, he, he reads when it's time to to make a play or just to move the puck quick and he it makes it really really easy for us forwards to read off of that and uh, no I think as I mean both of us are very young but the, the maturity that the more play was with I think that's probably his biggest strength and uh, uh, yeah just put the confidence keep making plays out there I think that's really really impressive and, and fun to watch and play with. Stop. <laughs> I love that you just absolutely love each other. So obviously you guys play together, you roommate together, you're doing interview together. Are you tired of being with each other sometimes? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually not. Uh, that's surprisingly. Uh, um, there was uh, maybe a little stretch when uh, when I was living with Joe Valeno together. And um, yeah, at some point during the season, we were like, OK, pfft, I mean, we're rooming on the road together too, so maybe that was uh, a little bit too much. But for now, it's uh, it's been awesome. Um, uh, yeah, we definitely had a great time, and uh, I think, uh, especially for me, I just enjoy being around him. And um, yeah, he's uh, he's putting a smile on my face. 
scores! Hat-trick. Lucas Raymond with the hat trick! Oh. Set up by Lurkin Insider! Who is the cook on the ha- in the house? One, two, three. Nobody either. <laughs> <laughs> Wings Fan on Valley Sports is brought to you by Coors Light, mountain cold refreshments made to chill. Zadina down low, Bertuzzi in front, they score! Raymond! Okay, so you guys are roommates, you know each other well, so if you give me three words, uh, Mo, that describe Lucas, what would that be, the three words? Um, need a nap. <laughs> That's just basically every day. Uh, we come home from practice. He's like, all right, see ya. Got to go upstairs, take my nap. And um, then I see him for dinner again. Okay, Lucas, three words to describe him. Go ahead. Yeah, well, first of all, I am a big napper. Got to put that out there. <laughs> Nap is important for me. But no, I, <clears throat> I'd say uh, funny, uh, Smart, actually, sometimes, and uh, very driven, I'd say. But no, like Mo would say, we, we have a lot of fun. Close our eyes. Yep. Close. You have to say like one, two, three, close your eyes. One, okay, one, two, three, close your eyes. <laughs> the clap thing. Do you guys really thought you would be able to do that, clapping at the same time? Of course. Of course. Not so, even a doubt. So since you guys have good chemistry, I thought we're going to put you to test. I'm going to ask you some questions, and then I will come to three, and at three you guys have to answer at the same time. All okay, right. That sounds good? This will be tough. But let's go. Let's hit it. Okay. Who spend the most time to get ready in the morning? One, two, three. Lucas. Who is the cook on the ha- in the house? One, two, three. Nobody there. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't cooked once, actually. So what do you do for food? Uh, Order out? Uh, usually we, we really enjoy going for dinners. Um, just a bunch of the times the guys are taking care of us too. So uh, usually we were always in good company. And um, yeah, just I guess wasn't the wasn't the perfect time to be a chef yet. <laughs> you have plenty of time for that. Yeah. Who's the best dresser? One, two, three. Wow, oh, that's hard. I said you. Yeah, um, I think uh, we have both pretty good game, I would say. Don't want to put myself out there, but... Um, Mo has actually a great shoe game. Definitely, yeah, like... definitely seen worse uh, during, during my, my hockey career, my young hockey career. So, he yeah. has a lot of shoes. You got a lot of shoes. That's a woman thing, having a lot of shoes. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I don't know. I think looking around in the locker room, I think a bunch of guys have that, that female yeah. touch there. <laughs> a woman touch, have a lot of shoes. So uh, interesting. That's interesting. Yeah. Who has the better taste for TV show or movie? One, two, three. Ah, me. Mo, yeah, yeah. probably. He usually, I don't know the remote, like I can't put on, so I never can get any channel in, so. Yeah, that's just laziness, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like we come home, he's like on the couch already. I was like, so what's happening? He's like, oh, Mo, you know, I don't know how it works. So I just put on a show. So you get control of the TV like, of that way. Yeah, yeah. Okay, last one. Who makes the biggest mess? One, two, three. Me. I don't know. I mean, you're pretty, like, you want things clean. Like, you, you clean a lot. Yeah, I mean, we can say it in front. Of course. I don't know, I just wanna, don't want to blame you. Oh, me. Sider again. Zadina. Rister. It scores! Good side. Being rookie at the same time, how cool it is to be able to share that. What does it mean for you guys? Uh, no, it's fun for sure. I mean, it's uh, like I said before, everything's pretty new. Like every arena is new, every team is new, uh, every every new team that we play. So it's a lot of new things. So to be able to share that with Mo and 
get help from him and help each other out, it, it helps a lot for sure to to share their experience and trying to figure our, our own way and learn from that. Yeah, I think it uh, makes life a little bit easier. Um, takes away the pressure a little, bit, a little bit too. Coming into the league, we both have the same goals and um, probably our goal is to be, to be the best rookie in the league and I think that's motivating us even more and, and helping us in the same way. So uh, definitely been really good having him on my side. Does it help to push each other too? The fact that you guys both rookie and both want to be the best and you're living together and you push each other every day? I think so. Um, I, uh, I truly believe like athletes, they always want to achieve the most and then well, the sky's the limit. So um, yeah, um, I'm definitely competing against him uh, in, in some kind of way, but um, it's, uh, it's, it's a really nice way. I think ultimately both of us are two very uh, competitive guys and we want to win and uh, I think as, as long as we're, we're helping the team win, I, it doesn't really matter how, it, how it's done uh, and uh, I mean both of us are very happy for like whatever the other guy is doing, like success, so uh, I think that pushes us a lot and for sure helps the team as well. Oh, it's amazing uh, to do it here at home in front of the fans. It was, it was really, really fun and uh, something that you've been uh, dreaming of for sure. So it was, uh, it was really exciting. Wingspan on Valley Sports is brought to you by Coors Light, mountain cold refreshments made to chill. With the fourth pick in the 2020 entry draft. The Detroit Red Wings are very excited to select from Falunda, Lucas Raymond. Making his Detroit Red Wings and National Hockey League debut, number 23, Lucas Raymond. With the sixth pick in the draft, the Detroit Red Wings select from Mannheim of the DEL, Moritz Seider. So I'm sure you guys, when you were young, you were dreaming of playing in the NHL. Is it what you think it would be? I mean, every night I almost feel a bit surreal. Uh, so uh, no, just trying to just trying to enjoy it, uh, trying to make the most out of every situation, every game, and go out there and, and enjoy it. At the same time, uh, we have a have a job to to win a hockey game. Good question, actually. I mean, for me, it was a little different. Uh, growing up in a really small town in Germany, all I wanted to play for my hometown, that was my dream. I mean, it's a third league club, and now uh, uh, during the way, during, during this long journey, you kind of realize you can actually earn money with this, and then a dream coming true at some point, you play in the best league in the world and challenge the best players every single night. So it's definitely, uh, yeah, a hell of a ride so far. And, probably uh, won't get worse, so uh, only it's getting better. There goes Raymond, gives it to him, scores! Bingo! His first National Hockey League goal! A minute to come for Lucas Raymond! Wow. Well, you have to tell me how it felt to score your first NHL goal. I'll go with Lucas, he got the first goal, so tell me. Oh, well, it's amazing uh, to do it here at home in front of the fans. It was, it was really, really fun and uh, something that you've been uh, dreaming of for sure. So it was, uh, it was really exciting. How about you doing obviously, it in OT, come obviously on. Obviously <laughs> a little bit more important, um, of course. Uh, no, I think, uh, yeah, it was just a matter of time for both of us. I think uh, been off to a really good start, but I think we want to uh, prove people wrong this year. I think uh, there, uh, there are big steps uh, in front of us and, and we're willing to take them. So um, we're really looking forward to that. So how it felt to be named uh, Rookie of the Month in October? Um, special. Uh, I didn't even know uh, at that time when all the other guys knew. So I was coming in the locker room from a morning skate and everyone was saying, hey, good job, Mo. And I was like, for what? <laughs> just, did my, just did my skating this morning. Like no, 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 and then the family reached out, and, and yeah, it's really, really cool feeling for sure. And so now that you're playing pro hockey in the NHL, is your lifestyle change a little bit? 
What's the biggest change in your lifestyle? Not a lot. Chill time. Uh, you're on the road a lot. Um, you're on the plane pretty much every every other day. So um, that's that's new to me. But um, all in all, I'm really enjoying it. Yeah. Well, the same. I mean, of course, it's different with with traveling and. You're kind of living in a little bubble almost, uh, since especially as a, as a foreigner here, you don't really have friends or family. So the only thing you do is basically play hockey, rest, trying to get ready. Uh, so, uh, but it, it's really exciting and it's uh, it's a lot of fun for sure. Nope, there he goes. Gone now. Here's Larkin. Scores! Dylan Larkin from Lucas Raymond. I talked to your agent in Sweden, and one of the things that said, he said to me, what set you apart, it's you spend so much time mentally and you're a solution-driven player. You're always trying to find solution. Can you explain a little bit about that? Yeah, well, I, I guess it comes from, from wanting to develop, uh, wanting to, to be a better player and in person and always trying to find out new things to to try to develop, whether it's mentally, physically, whatever it is, you're trying to find new solutions to, if you're not happy with one part of the game, that you're trying to really work on that and then look at it from different, different perspectives. So I think that's a big thing. I was just wondering if you feel like you have a target on your back from all the veterans in the NHL. If so, how do you deal with that? Um, that's actually a good question. Hey guys! Hey guys! Hey guys! As a defenseman, what do you think is the most effective way to stop a two-on-one play? What is the best or worst purchase you have ever made? What is your favorite brand of hockey equipment? So you guys, you have a lot of fans here in Detroit, but I also coach girls hockey, and when they find out that I had a chance to talk to you, they want to ask you some questions. So do you mind looking up at the iPad? The first question is for Lucas Ryan. Who do you sit by the locker room is one thing you change about them? The second question is for Lucas Sider. What is your favorite pregame meal? Mine is pasta. Yeah, I go usually with uh, a salad and uh, some pasta. Um, a little bit of uh, meat and Alfredo sauce and then some, uh, some grilled chicken on the side. Uh, I sit next to, on my right, I have Pia Suter, and uh, to my left, I'm kind of in the, at the edge, so my next guy is on the short side, and that's uh, Rowney, so those are the two I'm sitting next to. Hi, I'm Lainey, and I play for the 12 U Girls Little Caesars team. And I was just wondering if you feel like you have a target on your back from all the veterans in the NHL. If so, how do you deal with that? Um, that's actually a good question. Uh, I think, especially for me, I think it's really good having these kind of guys around me, and uh, especially on our team with. Mark Stahl, um, Danny De Kaiser, Nick Letty. Um, they make my life super easy and uh, giving me a lot of support. And um, for me, it's more, I don't think I have a target on my back. It's just more I'm looking up to those guys and want to achieve uh, this, the, the, pretty much the same things or, or even more, yeah. Uh, yeah, well, the same. Uh... We got a lot of I got a lot of help from all of the older guys in the team. They're they're really nice, you know, taking taking both of us out to dinners and really taking really good care of us and supporting us. So uh, no, uh, they've uh, they've been great, and I mean all of the guys on the team are really good guys. So it makes it, it makes it easier for us. Do you wear Lederhosen? And what was it like playing hockey in Germany? Um, yeah, so obviously in October. Um, when I played in Mannheim, we would always dress up and uh, go to the Oktoberfest in, in Munich and have, a, and have a really good time there. And, um, but all in all, the German league is still very competitive. Um, I think we're proving a lot of people um, wrong about, about German hockey lately, so I'm um, taking big steps and probably uh, more will come. So guys, People here loved you, all the fans in Detroit love you. Everywhere I go, 
uh, they come up to me and said, we love those two young guys. Uh, do you have a message for all the fans uh, from the Red Wings? I mean, first of all, it's great seeing, seeing Little Caesars with fans again. And uh, it's, I think it's been unreal so far. Uh, the crowd has been outstanding. And um, yeah, we, I think we're looking really forward to, to many, many years and to a lot more games. So um, I'm really blessed. But um, yeah, all the messages I get. And um, just want to say thank you and uh, still motivate yourself to stay safe, but also do as much possible to, to help us win uh, uh, in the end. No, same. I think it's been incredible. I think our arena is one of the best arenas that, I, that I've played in so far. I think the fans have been great. They're, they're showing up every night, being loud, helping us. And it, it, I mean, from, I can only speak for myself, but it, it helped a lot uh, having them there. And it's been, it's been amazing playing in front of them. And uh, no, uh, like Mo said, just uh, yeah, with the pandemic, keep staying safe. And hopefully see you a lot more years to come in this arena. And uh, yeah, keep being loud. Thank you very much for this. And congratulations for all the success so far. And I'm sure many more. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. He scores! Mo Sider with his first National Hockey League goal! Raymond takes a shot, scores! Lucas Raymond!